What's going on guys, it's Landon, back with another video, and this is the Anycubic i3 3D printer, a $250 DIY FDM 3D printer kit that rivals other 3D printers up to $6,000. Now this 3D printer is based on the Prusa i3 open source model. And while it is similar, it does have a few differences than the original Prusa i3. Two of the main differences being that it has a different control board and it has an acrylic style frame rather than the Prusa i3's the stainless steel frame. Um, but with that being said, although the quality isn't going to be quite as good as an original Prusa, um, I've compared this print to a print done on an original Prusa and it's very, very similar, especially at $250. Now some of the specs of this 3D printer are that it has a heated bed, it has an LCD display and knob for controlling the 3D printer and for printing offline. It's able to print at 0.1 millimeter layer heights and it can support ABS, PLA, flexible filaments, and even filaments such as the wood filaments or nylon filaments. Now, this 3D printer does not have an auto leveling bit, so you will have to level the bed manually. And that took me about two hours, but it is necessary to get a very level bed for your prints to stick to the base, because that first layer is the most important layer to ensure that your 3D prints don't fail midway through, say three hours into the print. Now I mentioned that this is a DIY 3D printer, and when I say DIY, I mean DIY. Every piece of this 3D printer came disassembled, except for the extruder head, luckily. Um, and it took me about five hours to assemble, and I took a time lapse of the entire assembly, just so you could get a feel for just how long um, and tedious the build process was. But if you're into DIY stuff, if you're into electronics, then this is actually a great kit to have, because you, one, learn a lot about how the 3D printer works, and two, it's just fun building it if you're into DIY. But let's go ahead and cut to the time lapse. Now after the 3D printer is fully assembled, that's when the important step of leveling the bed comes into play. And so you actually level the bed using these four knobs down here on the bottom for each corner of the build plate. But once it's fully leveled, then you can get some really, really good prints. Um, this printer actually came with a full roll of black PLA, and while this isn't the highest quality filament available, um, I think it's really nice that they included a roll of filament already in the kit, so that way you can have some filament to play with, mess around with, and do some first 3D prints on. But I actually have some red Hatchbox ABS loaded up on the 3D printer. Um, and I absolutely love this filament. It produces great prints. Um, I just got done 3D printing this second owl, and I always do this as a test print, just because you can see just how high of quality um, this printer can get prints. Um, it has a smooth back, the layers are very even, and it handles overhangs up to about 55 degrees. It's rated for 45, but I can go up to about 55 degrees without any support needed. 
um, and it just makes really, really good prints, especially at $250. Now, this print was actually done on the MakerBot Z18, um, and I was lucky enough to print this at Gulf Coast State College um, in Panama City. They actually have a, uh, a room dedicated to 3D printing, and that's where I printed this on the MakerBot Z18. Now, the MakerBot Z18 is actually a $6,000 3D printer, and you can see the results are extremely close. Now, this probably wasn't the best material to print with, but this was the only material available to me at the time. Um, but you can see that the prints are equal in detail, and in fact, the Z18 actually has a little bit of blobbing right here on the ear. Now, I actually have another print done on the Z18. This is actually my friend's head, and you can learn how to take 3D scans as awesome as this um, using an Xbox 360 in my video linked down below. Definitely check out that video if you're interested in 3D printing because you can actually scan your own head and 3D print your own head as well, or anything. You can, you can 3D scan anything. So definitely check out that video down below. Uh, but this print was also done on a Z18, and it is much better than the Owl, but you can see some stringing around the edges there. Um, I tried to get as much off as possible, but there's still some on there, and the supports sticked a little bit more. Um, but they are very close in terms of layer um, smoothness um, on, in the Z-axis. They're very close, and they both look um, very, very good. Now, with the DIY 3D printer, you're going to have to deal with some more finicky aspects. For example, occasionally the 3D printer will um, get slightly off level and you do have to re-level it. And sometimes you have to deal with failed prints. Even if it's a little off level, it will unadhere from the base. But luckily, again, this does have a heated base, something that the MakerBot printers do not have and something that's becoming more common among 3D printers, um, especially in the lower price range. With ABS, you also have the advantage of being able to use acetone to smooth the prints. And this one, you can see, is very smooth on the outside. You can give it that um, injection mold kind of look with acetone, something that you can't do on PLA. And that's another reason I really like this 3D printer. Now to 3D print with this printer, you use the open source Cura software. It's completely free and it's great for beginners like me um, because it gives you all the settings that you need on the side, such as the print speed, the, the hot bed temperature, the extruder temperature, and it even has preset settings for ABS and PLA. And it's great at slicing the objects um, and it also allows you to export in G-code, something you need to do if you're going to be 3D printing off of an SD card, which I'm very glad that this SD card slot is as accessible as it is. It's actually right here behind the LCD display, um, which is great because a lot of other DIY 3D printers, you have to reach back behind the printer on the board or it's just really hard to get to in some areas. But they actually include this SD card as well as a lot of test prints. So that's really good in my opinion because a lot of companies don't do that. Um, but uh, the SD card that they give you, you can just plug it into the adapter and you can load up Cura and export the file in G-code. And then instead of leaving your computer connected to the 3D printer, the entirety of the 3D print, you can let the 3D printer do it on its own with the SD card. But you can still plug in the computer into the USB port on the control board if you wish. Now overall, this is a great 3D printer in my opinion, especially for the price. And while there were a couple things I wasn't satisfied with, and although the acrylic frame is not the best for a 3D printer, for $250 you really cannot go wrong with this printer. And in fact, Anycubic has a new Anycubic i3 Mega 3D printer, and it's a little bit more expensive, but I think it can do more as well. Um, I will include both of these 3D printers down in the links below um, in the description and it'll actually be an affiliate link this time. So anytime you go click on that affiliate link, I will get a little bit back at no cost to you, which helps keep the channel going. Another thing I would really appreciate is if you could check out my friend Caleb's channel. His channel name is Caleb Talks and he actually has almost 800 subscribers now. Now YouTube recently changed the limits on what you have to do in order to monetize your videos and right as he hit that mark to monetize his videos they went ahead and changed it again so now you have to have a thousand subscribers as well as about 400 hours of watch time or 1400 hours of watch time and a year for you to monetize your videos so if you could go check out his channel um, and subscribe i would really appreciate that he would really appreciate that um, and it, it will also be linked down below and his videos are hilarious 
Um, but thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.